Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Dr. Kevin Richardson joining us here once again today, and we're learning more and more about all the 145 different ways that hypnosis can help you. And he's here, of course, to talk um, about pre, uh, post surgery, how hypnosis can help you. But uh, again, there's so many different ways. Let's welcome our friend Kevin Richardson back to the show. How are you? Good morning. I'm fabulous. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you here. And uh, just a little bit about yourself for those new people out there tuning in Um, today, Kevin. I am your favorite hypnotherapist. Yes, you are. (laughs) (laughs) I am. I'm available for consultations and for sessions. And like you said, there's 145 different ways that hypnosis can help Perfect. and make your life better. Aww. And uh, I'd encourage you to go to my website, www.kevinrichardsontherapy.com. And my phone number is 760-902-2274. And hurry up and start calling, folks, because... Time slots are going to go by fast. <laughs> Aww. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here and great topic for the day. Uh, let's talk a little bit about when someone goes through surgery, the types of effects on their body, but how hypnosis can help before and after the fact. Well, there was an interesting study that was done by the National Cancer Institute in 2007, and it was published in the Journal of National Cancer Institute, September 5th in 2007. And what they did is they did a study of 200 women that were going in for biopsy or for lumpectomy. And so they randomly put uh, some women into the hypnosis group and some women not hypnosis group. And so What they did is that the women that were in the hypnosis group, they did hypnosis 15 minutes before the procedure. Mm. And it was fascinating, the results. Number one, the average cost of the surgical procedure was $770 less for the folks that went through the hypnosis. And they used less pain medication than the folks that did not use hypnosis. And they had less pain, less nausea, uh, and less less discomfort than the women that did not have hypnosis. So basically what what the study said was that they need to do more studies, obviously, Mm -hmm. on this, but they did say it was statistically significant. So that got me thinking, well, pre and post surgery, how can hypnosis help with pre and post? Well, before we have the surgery, typically we're anxious, we're a little stressed out. Um, we're like worried, you know, how's the surgery going to go? How am I going to do under anesthesia? Um, am I going to get an infection? on and on and on. And then before you do surgery, you have to go and get your blood tests. Then you have to go get the EKG and have several studies done to see if surgery is, is you're warranted for surgery, if you qualify for surgery. And so prior to going into surgery, your anxiety levels go up. When anxiety levels go up, stress levels goes up. And it's been shown that when stress levels go up, immunity goes down. Our immune system is inversely uh, affected. Mm -hmm. When stress levels go up, immunity goes down. So when immunity goes down, we're more prone to getting infections and having complications. So what they, so prior to surgery, hypnosis can help you manage 
your anxiety levels and manage your stress. And using the mind body connection, they have found that hypnosis can help to improve the immune system. It can, incre- okay. it can ramp up the immune system. And that's going through the mind body uh, connection. We know that the mind controls the entire body and the mind is just this incredibly powerful instrument that we really don't have a whole lot of understanding about. But we do know that the mind controls the immune system. So through hypnosis, we can help folks improve their immune system, which means less antibiotics. Then also, hypnosis has been shown to redirect blood to different areas. Um, There was a uh, hypnotist, or actually a hypnotherapist, who would demonstrate how he could change the flow, the blood flow to his hand. And he would just give himself a cut and the blood would be flowing. And he could show through hypnosis how he could increase the blood flow or decrease and stop the blood flow. Fat, it just blew my mind. Just yeah. blew my mind that the mind could do this. But it does. So through hypnosis, prior to surgery, we're able to put suggestions and to reduce the blood flow to that area so that the surgeon has a clear view of the surgery site, which fascinates me Mm -hmm. that we can do that. Um, Also, we get IVs, we get injections. And I don't know if, if you have ever had an IV I've had and they hurt. Yes, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. There is nothing fun about an IV through hypnosis. We're able to help folks reduce their anxiety and reduce the discomfort of having an IV inserted. And we can do that through pain management techniques by changing the perception from a stick that hurts to a pinch that is just just a little poke. So we're able to change that perception so that when the IV is inserted, it's less distressing. Hmm. So fascinating stuff. Then we're also, and I've talked about this one client I had who had a fear of needles because it hurt and he didn't like needles and blah, 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 blah. Yes. And through hypnosis, we're able to change that perception and we're able to change that perception to where it's just like if you're poking your finger into the skin or onto the skin and take away the sharpness of the stick. And so we're able to do that. So we can make the intake process a lot more comfortable it's also stressful just to go into a hospital Mm -hmm. (laughs) just even walking in the doors your heart rate goes up (laughs) yeah really (laughs) you know and then you go they take you to your room after asking you one and a half million questions about (laughs) everything except your firstborn child exactly Um, And so that's even stressful. Then they take you up to the room and they hand you this gown that um, you get more coverage in a bikini than you do in the gown. I'm just teasing. And it's Uh, cold. Let's talk about that breeze. (laughs) It's cold and then there's a draft. Drafty. Yes. (laughs) There's the draft and you don't want to bend over. (laughs) Mm -mm. Nope. (laughs) Wide open spaces there. Yeah, yeah. Wide open. And there's nothing more embarrassing than being in this hospital gown when you're not in your regular clothes. Mm -hmm. And then you're put into a hospital bed. And we all know how comfortable they are. Yes. 
Oh, yeah. It's like going to the Hilton. Uh Uh-huh. Not. Mm -hmm. And so you're in this environment where you're no longer a person. But now you're the surgery in room 33A. Yeah. Uh, So now you have your name has been because of confidentiality. You're now a room number. Uh (laughs) (laughs) And then it's give me your arm. I need your arm. You know, time to wake up for your sleeping pill. Mm -hmm. Uh, So all of that is stressful and creates anxiety through so throw hypnosis prior to going into the hospital we can help desensitize that entire process to where it is a more comfortable process for the patient so the patient is going from a the person is going from being a person to a number or to a case and they're being depersonalized so through hypnosis, we're able to desensitize that process because it's just not comfortable being referred to as, oh, you're the gallbladderectomy, you know, you're the, (laughs) you're the, you're the colectomy. Yeah. Uh, And so it helps to desensitize that process. And then prior to the surgery, the night before you have surgery, They usually give you all these sleeping pills so you sleep because of the anxiety people stay awake prior to the surgery. So through hypnosis, we're able to, again, reduce the anxiety levels and help the person to realize that the surgery is going to fix them. Mm -hmm. They're now going to be fixed. They're now going to be repaired and change that whole perception of the surgery. Some folks, the folks that have had multiple surgeries or have undergone surgery and have complications from the surgery, that almost forms like a post-traumatic stress syndrome. And so through hypnosis, we're able to help them work through that Mm -hmm. and again, reduce the anxiety. And then it enables them to heal quicker, requiring less pain medication than without having this, without having the hypnosis. So we're able to help folks prepare for the surgery. We're able to help folks to, so their subconscious, you know, even though the anesthesia, the subconscious is still working. Mm -hmm. They're just comfortable with the anesthesia. They're just very comfortable and they're just out. But the subconscious brain is still working. Yeah. So by going into the subconscious brain, we're still even able to help the subconscious brain go through the surgery like a breeze with fewer complications. It's interesting stuff. It's fascinating. And as I was reading about this over the weekend, I was enthralled about how hypnosis really does reduce the pain levels. Yeah. And so there is, let's see, Dr. Mark P. Jensen, I think he's got like 645 research articles that have been published on managing pain. And So it's been well-researched that hypnosis Mm -hmm. does help to manage pain. So it helps to reduce the pain medications as well as the injections. You know, every four hours they say, roll over onto your side and then the gown is open in the back and they shoot you in the back, Mm -hmm. um, shoot you in the rear end. And after a while, that really begins to feel like a pincushion and really is quite uncomfortable. (laughs) Yep. Uh, I know when I've had to have just minor surgery and I was having pain medications given to me in the rear end, after a while, the muscles just started to spasm Mm -hmm. and they couldn't get the needle in just because even touching the skin caused the muscles to tighten up. 
And they were like, relax, relax, relax. I can't, I can't, I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. You just touched it. It's sore and it hurt. Yeah. And so through hypnosis, we're able to help that person through that period of time. And then after surgery, if it's like a hip fracture or a knee replacement or some other type of surgery and you're older, many times you go to rehab afterwards. And if you've had like a hip surgery replacement, um, the doctor wants you up and walking as soon as you're awake and out of the anesthesia. They want you up and walking. Mm -hmm. And it hurts. It hurts. Well, through hypnosis, we're able to change that perception from pain to discomfort. Hmm. So, and then we're also able to change the apprehension that goes along with it. I'm going to fall. I'm too sick. I'm too, my stomach, my, hmm. I'm nauseated. I'm going to throw up. Um, through hypnosis, we're able to manage all of that. So we're able to help with getting the person to rehab quicker because we all know that after surgery, one of the complications is if you stay in bed too long, you can get pneumonia or yeah. you can develop blood clots. So what does the doctor want us to do as soon as we're out? They want us up walking. And that's the last thing we want to do after no, we've been on. of course not. Table. I know, I know. <laughs> you know, and if a woman's had a baby, what do they want you to do right afterwards? Walk. Walk. Oh, <laughs> that's the last thing. I know. But through hypnosis, we're able to manage Feel that it? perception mm -hmm. and help folks in encouraging them that walking is good for them and help to change that perception and reduce the pain levels. Yep. And so they reduce the pain medication. So then you're less groggy and, and more alert. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even pain medication causes nausea. So especially if you take it on an empty stomach, it can oh. cause nausea. So we're able to help manage the nausea and the pain levels so that in rehab, the person will have a more successful rehab and get in and out quicker. So it's real cool stuff. It is really cool stuff. Um, I wish the hospitals, if you're listening, uh -huh. bring some hypnotherapists in because it would sure help you reduce your costs. And that's kind of the bottom line is how do we reduce costs? Mm -hmm. How do we manage our expenses and how do we manage our resources? Especially now we're having such um, shortages now. <laughs> yeah. So through hypnosis, we're able to manage the pain levels so that you take less pain medication. We're able to help manage the surgery so that you require less anesthesia and less pain, pain medication and less nausea following the surgery so that you can participate in rehab quicker. Mm -hmm. And then you're more excited about participating in rehab and less concerned and less anxious about anticipating the pain. The thing with anxiety and with stress, it's dealing with the future. You're thinking about the future. If I get up, I'm going to hurt. So I don't want to hurt. So then it increases the anxiety. So through hypnosis, we're able to turn that around and make it much easier on the person so that their subconscious is more in tune with your healing process and help speed up mm -hmm. your healing process. So um, it's really cool stuff. It's really fun stuff. It, it's a really fun, interesting study that shows that hypnosis really does reduce the costs involved in surgery. Um, 
let's see did i miss anything looking at my notes here um we did talk about the stress in the immune system and this is interesting so how does stress affect the body how does it do that well the body with stress it releases hormones adrenaline and cortisol which produces stress. And through hypnosis, we're able to reduce these, the adrenaline and the epinephrine and the cortisol through hypnosis by going into the subconscious mind. And um, so it helps to manage the stress. Also, we can help folks after surgery to help them encourage them eating healthy mm -hmm. and prior to surgery sometimes if we're obese or if our cholesterol levels are really high the doctor is going to be less excited about doing surgery because there's more complications so prior to surgery if we have enough time with hypnosis we're able to help folks change their eating habits and we talked about this one client who hated vegetables mm -hmm. and only ate meat and potatoes and was diabetic and blood sugars were off the scales mm -hmm. so through hypnosis we were able to change the interpretation of food and what food meant to him and increase his like for vegetables and so at the end of his sessions even his wife got on and said thank you <laughs> yeah thank you because i for years we've been trying to get him to eat vegetables and he wouldn't eat vegetables now he's cooking them mm -hmm. so through hypnosis it does work so the other thing we can help with is prior to surgery is help change bad habits uh smoking even if you can stop smoking for 24 hours or 48 hours or 72 hours prior to surgery, yeah. it helps, helps your outcome. Mm -hmm. And so through hypnosis, we're able to help turn that around so that the patient is less likely to smoke. Um, it's a little bit trickier stop, uh, to stop smoking. It does require a little bit more hypnosis and it does require some different techniques. However, it can be done. Mm -hmm. It can be done. Um, also, there are folks that just take illicit drugs just to escape. And so through hypnosis, we can help the patient understand that those drugs are going to interfere mm -hmm. with the surgery and fear interfere with the rehab process. And so we're able to help uh, through post-hypnotic suggestions. Yep. Um, oh, also the other thing that we can work on is that, is the self-image. The, pa the patient's been in the hospital. Now they're a patient. I'm sick. I'm, I'm sick. I can't do anything. I'm sick. And in our society, we help people that are sick, we kind of give them some leeway. You know, oh, I have a headache. Okay, you don't have to go. Or mom, my stomach is upset. I don't want to go to school. Okay, you don't have to go to school. Mm -hmm. So we give them some leeway. So through hypnosis, we can help to turn that around so that the person maintains their self-image and their self-esteem as a person and not as an entity that's sick and can't do anything. Yeah. So we help people return to their position in life following the hospitalization. So, um, also change any types of perceptions that people may have. Um, being sick, um, 
I'm sick or I'm weak or being sick is something to be ashamed of. Um, pain is only in your head, walk it off. You know, these types of perceptions, they're not helpful. And so helping folks come to terms with their connotations and their perceptions, again, helps to manage the rehab process and helps to get them through the rehab process. And we can also help families as well. Um, some families, if you have a person that's sick, oh, they're sick, don't bother them. You know, they're mm-hmm. sick or they start doing everything for them. And it, it doesn't help. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we want the families to support and be a caregiver, but also be a cheerleader as well. And so through hypnosis, we're able to help the different perceptions that family members may have about being sick and about the person that has just come home from the hospital. Yeah. So, um, so it's really pretty cool. It's just real cool stuff. And um, I would encourage you, if not me, get with someone else. And um, if you're going to have surgery, check it out. Check it out. You might find that the whole process is less stressful and easier for you. Yeah. And yeah. how do we reach out to you, Kevin? How does it all work? How does it all work? Pick up the phone. Look into my eyes. You are under hypnosis. Getting sleepy. Um, <laughs> my phone number is 760-902-2274. My email is kevinrichardsontherapy at gmail.com. And my website's www.kevinrichardsontherapy. Dot com. So reach out, reach out. Yeah. And, uh, we can help you in many, many different ways. Thank you. And do you want to leave a little quote, positive affirmation, little words of inspiration with us? Come on, Kevin. Oh, hypnosis mm. is a healthy alternative that fulfills the same needs as medications. With help, not with hypnosis, you can quiet the chatter in your mind and fulfill yourself through relaxation and focus your time and your energy on those things that are most productive. And why not? Now is the time. Now is now, the time, right? It was this horrible time. pandemic and like, Life is just so valuable, so precious. Live your best life. Be the best you can be. Feel the best you can. Um, Feel the best you can. Try Now it. is the time. Now is the time. So, yay. Thank you so much for being here as always. Another All right. great topic of conversation. And I hope you have a great day, a great Thank week. You. And to Thanks. everyone in your side of town and the cats included, have a great day. Yay. All right. Yay. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's It's going to be okay.